Welcome everybody again on DevConf 2022 and I would give you a word for uh, Savita. So yep. here you are. Uh, it's time to drink water. Uh, hello. I hope I'm audible. Okay. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to DevCon 2022. Hope you guys are doing good. And today we are going to talk about uh, inspecting Kubernetes native CI CD with Tekton. Uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, so I am Savita Ashtar, a senior software engineer working at Red Hat. I am based out of Bangalore, India. So you can find me over uh, Tekton Slack, Twitter and uh, LinkedIn. So, uh, in today's agenda, we are going to see a brief about CI CD and different different CI CD solutions we have, a basic differences of Tekton versus Jenkins, then the Tekton high level overview of Tekton, a different projects of Tekton, and then we are uh, we, we will go in depth about Tekton pipeline and Tekton trigger sub project to know more about their concept and what are the different resources they support. And finally, we will execute a simple demo to write, uh, I mean, uh, executing the uh, CI CD pipeline manually and then automatically based on some GitHub events. So this is how, how my high level agenda looks like for the today's uh, talk. So now let's see the brief about CI CD. So, uh, before I go to a technical word about CI/CD, I just want to give a real life uh, example, which I feel myself. Uh, uh, the reason is, uh, whenever I go to bed, I mean, before going to bed, I, I used to turn off the lights, TV if it is on, and I play some relaxing music so that I can, uh, I can get a peaceful mindset. So, I, I feel sometimes that, Oh, uh, I should have something automated all these operations. So I should not spend like five, 10 minutes to do all these things. Uh, instead of that, I could have got some remote control mechanism so that by sitting in one place, I can do all these things. So this is really cool, right? If you get something like that. So my point here is all of us want the automation everywhere, wherever it requires some manual intervention. So similarly, in software field, we uh, we always value or respect to the work which we do automation. I mean, we do, any one of us don't want to do any work automatically repetitive time, right? So in that case, we prefer autom automation for everything. So CI is a continuous delivery and a continuous integration, and CD is a continuous delivery or deployment, which plays important role in the software industry. So basically, if I talk about CI, it's just a software deployment practice in which uh, incremental code changes are made frequently and tested. Whereas, as part of the CD, that code is delivered quickly and seamlessly uh, so that we can test it properly before uh, making sure that everything is works perfectly. Now, I, I want to just brief about those things in a diagrammatical way. So I have a very general scenario where I will clone the source code and I do some operation on that source code. I mean by sending the feature, doing some bug fix documentation. So whenever I do some uh, pull request to that source code, I feel to do building the code to make sure that I don't break it. And then I do some unit test and e it test to make sure that uh, there is nothing breakage. So this we do continuously every time whenever there is a change in the source code, even it, if it is small part of it. So we, we, we do this continuously. So we call this part as a continuous integration. I mean, we, we write as a template for the automation and make it, make it as a CI to run it whenever there is a change in the source code. So this we call continuous integration. And once we do this, uh, operation, we try to deploy our source code and uh, try to test the functionality and we call that part of as a continuous deployment. So this is how our general high level CI CD looks like. Now 
let us understand the different CICD uh, solution available today in the market. So I have listed very few. There could be many. So uh, I, the, the different types of CICD are listed over there. Uh, among Some of them are popular. Some of them are not popular. Those we can use based on our use cases. So today, I, I, my focus is on Tecton. And one, uh, one point I want to state here is that the agenda of this talk is not to say that Tecton is good CICD solution. Instead of that, I just, my motive is to say that uh, one of the solution for CICD is Tecton. So now, based on the use case, we can use Tecton, we can use Jenkins, Circle CI. It depends on us and our own our use cases. So now, before I go deeply uh, into the Tecton, I just want to compare Tecton with highly usable uh, a CICD solution, which is Jenkins. So here is the high-level differences. I found it, and I have written it here. Uh, maybe you can read it if, if you guys are interested to know more, like why Tecton we need to use, why Jenkins we need to use. So this is the high-level differences. I have written it here. Now, Let's go uh, deep dive into the Tecton and see what is Tecton, why Tecton and who uses this Tecton and how it got started. So basically, uh, Tecton is a Kubernetes native open source framework for creating CI-CD systems. And it helps us to do a end-to-end -end operation across multiple cloud uh, environments. Then why Tecton? Why should we use it? So I, I would say that if we have an application which is cloud native and which is which is always deployed on Kubernetes, I would say Tecton would be easier to integrate as a CI-CD solution because it is very native to Kubernetes. And with Tecton, we can do we can achieve scaling easily by uh, if you want to increase the workload, we can just add node to our cluster. So this is how we can uh, find useful Tecton in these kind of scenarios. Then who uses Tecton? Like basically the developer and the platform engineers who build CI/CD for their organization. And coming to like how it started, why uh, how it got started. Uh, earlier we had a Knative build project as part of Knative. Later it got separated from Knative, and that build project entirely uh, got created as a separate project. We call today it as a Tecton. And initially, it was started by Google, Red Hat, IBM, Pivotal, and later many more companies uh, started contributed. And now, the Tecton is given to a CD foundation. Okay, so this is how this is about a bit of overview of Tecton. Now, let's see different projects available in Tecton today. So we have a very popular one, which is Tecton pipelines. So it basically provides resources, cater style resources for declaring the CICD pipeline. And we have a Tecton pro, uh, trigger project. So it's basically helpful to trigger those pipelines automatically based on some events. It can be from different, different sources. And we have a command line tool called TKN, uh, which helps us to interact with Tecton components. And we have a dashboard, uh, which is a graphical uh, interface to view uh, and uh, interact with the Tecton components. And we have a catalog. It is a rep project which keeps the task which can be reusable. In Jenkins, if I give an example, in Jenkins, we have plugins, right? Similarly, in Tecton, the catalog project maintains the task which can be reusable based on our use cases. And then we have a hub. It is a graphical uh, interface for the catalog project. And then we have an operator. Operator is basically help us to install, maintain, manage, upgrade the entire Tecton projects. And today, operator basically help uh, supports the installation on Kubernetes and OpenShift platform. So now we saw different different sub projects uh, which are there in Tecton CD org. Now let's. Uh, uh, just go a bit deeper inside few projects called Tecton Pipeline and Tecton Triggers. So uh, we, we, saw, we understood till now the purpose of Tecton Pipeline project and why it is. Now let's understand the basic resources which are required to create our CI-CD uh, pipelines. Now, when I say resources, I, I just want to compare to the well-known 
Kubernetes uh, resources so that it is easy to understand. So, in Tecton, like in Kubernetes, we have pod deployment services. In Tecton pipeline, also we have a custom resources which is very specific to Tecton itself, and that to pipelines. So, we have a step. This a Tecton pipeline has a resource called step, which is very similar to a Kubernetes container. It means this step internally runs a con container which which takes some informations like uh, ENV volume etc. And we have another resource called task. It is uh, if if I compare with Kubernetes resources, task very exactly resembles to a pod in a Kubernetes Kubernetes world. So task is basically an entity which contains multiple steps that run sequentially. And we have a pipeline, uh, which is again an entity or object in Tecton pipeline, which contains multiple tasks and execute those tasks in a certain order. Now, this pipeline, if I compare with Kubernetes resources, it's exactly similar to a deployment in Kubernetes. So, if I tell about the hierarchy, a pipeline is an object which contains multiple tasks and task is an object which contains multiple steps. Okay. Now, when I say pipeline contains multiple tasks, that means there should be a mechanism that a one task output is given to another task as an input. So, to handle that operation, we have an objects called results and workspaces, which do very well input and output operations. Now, this task and pipeline are just a static template to run these things we have a runtime entity called task run to run the task and pipeline run to run the pipeline now we just understood the theoretical uh, thing let's go and see diagrammatically like how it looks like okay so uh, i have a scenario where i'm cloning the code building it building the image and pushing to the registry and deploying it so i have separated it out in a multiple steps like clone build push and deploying using the OC, which is a, a client to deploy it on the OpenShift. So now I have divided into multiple steps and you can see different, different level I have divided. I will tell like why I have done this way. So now let's uh, uh, see one more uh, resource called task. So task fetch contains this step clone. A task uh, build contains these three step operation and the task deploy contain the step called OC to deploy the image. Now you can see like why I have divided this instead of this I have could have combined this and written as a single task right. But I, I want to give one more scenario where I have a two languages one is Java and one is Go. So for Go and Java the cloning is same and deploying using OC client is also same. But building operation will differ. I mean, Go has different steps to build. Java has different steps to build. Now, if I want to do CI CD for both Go and Java, I need to write similar steps for multiple times if I have a one single task. That's the reason I have divided into three different tasks so that I can reusable this task fetch and reusable this task deploy for both different languages. And I can do some diff bit changes in the build task so that I can use for Go separately and Java separately. So th th that is why we call in Tecton task as a reusable uh, entity similar to plugins in Jenkins. So now these tasks are dependent on each other. I mean deploy dependent on build, build dependent on fetch. To run these tasks individually, we have an entity as I said earlier, we have a task run to run those things. Now, let's suppose I want to combine this everything and run as a single unit. I can write a pipeline for this and to run that pipeline, I have a pipeline run object. So this is just a high level uh, diagram. Now let's see this thing in action. So by executing like I will have a three task git clone which will clone the code and put it in one of the storage and then another task called builder which will uh, refer that storage and get the code access and then finally deploy it, deploy that code and this entire thing I call it as a pipeline. Now let's see these things in action. So let me go back to my this thing. 
so before that i will show one point here like i, I have a uh, repo i i have kept everything ready so the prerequisites are cluster and for time being i have installed tecton and everything i have given step here and even i have created a dashboard i i given every steps here so if someone want they can refer it from here and my dashboard looks like this so there are no resources now let's go on to try it on the example so i have already cloned the code here and now i will create a namespace called demo and then i will create a secret because uh, i i am doing push operation so it requires the uh, access to my registry so i am doing creation of that so i have done in another terminal because it it exposes a password so you can see secrets in the demo namespace and then i have i, I have mentioned in the uh, project uh, representation that i have a three task so i am just straight away using the task from the catalog repo so which are there here and the graphical view of that catalog repo is hub i can directly take it from here and i can use, make use of it so i am just cloning this thing and we build that task okay and then we clone task to clone the code so now i have ready with all the task sorry and i will do get operation on those tasks to make sure i have everything after that i will create a samples which contains some service account roles pipeline pipeline run now before that i just quickly show like how it looks like so you can see that this service account contains some credential that role role binding some permission to deploy uh, i mean the apps deployment and everything now this is the important one i want to show which is pipeline you can see kind pipeline is a resource as i uh, mentioned here in the presentation that i will have three task and they are dependent on each other so i have a task called fetch i have a task called build i have a task called deploy right and this fetch uh, i mean this build is dependent on fetch and that can be indicated by run it mean this build run after the fetch task and similarly for deploy i have given build which is run after the build so this how this is how the tasks are dependent on each other and they execute and then i will have as i said pipeline run is an entity runtime entity which runs the pipeline so here i will give information about my repo and the image where i want to push it so the repo is this one okay so let me create this uh, these resources here so you can see i have started creating it once i create it a pipeline run will be executing i will show here you can see of 6 seconds ago when i go inside this pipeline run i i will see three different tasks and each task the different different steps okay now in the fetch it is doing clone code it has not yet started that's why i get unable to fetch the log but now when it started it will show the logs okay so it it will take some time before that i want to say that this is how i done the manual creation of my ci cd right i mean it will build and deploy it but i want to do it automatically means whenever there is changes to change, some changes to this repo i automatically want to build build the code uh, push the image and deploy my code so that i can test it so to do that we have a project call tecton trigger which 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 show which is another uh, entirely independent project i mean uh, entirely different project in tecton itself so this trigger help us to do that automation i mean automatic deployment of pipeline so if i want to show diagrammatically at high level so till now we saw this right i mean entire pipeline now to to trigger this entire pipeline i will back up with trigger so basically this trigger do that operation of building i mean uh, executing that pipeline automatically with some events now let me tell uh, i uh, i mean it is for time being if i go in depth about it each of every resources of trigger it will take time so i would i would i would prefer 
to if someone interested to know about this trigger go to tecton cd trigger official documentation we have proper documentation over there and how each of the resources are there so to understand at high level i want to say that like kind pipeline run we have a kind event listener in trigger what it will do when we create that object it will create a event listener pod it is something a run which which continuously run and watches for event this event can be from github gitlab bitbucket or any other sources which we can refer whenever there is a event comes right this event listener pod gives information to trigger and the responsibility of the trigger is to make sure to uh, to give to the interceptor to validate whether the event is coming from the proper sources and then we have two more entity called trigger binding and trigger template so basically this trigger binding will fetch the resource information like from which git repo from which branch all those information it will fetch and it will give it to the trigger template and this trigger template have the pipeline run object itself i will show in yaml so that pipeline run will be triggered and it finally create that tecton resources now let's see this thing with a demo so uh, let me go back to my repository and before that i will show that this tech pipeline run previously which we ran manually it is success now so let me uh, create a tecton trigger uh, objects so i will create this is a tecton trigger object okay sorry yeah so samples is here yeah tecton triggers object so i will create it here so once this is done i will get a event listener object okay so you can see a event listener object and as i told in presentation i will get uh, this will internally create one pod you can see 10 second ago so let me do a watch on this pod so that i can uh, see uh, events coming to this pod so yeah okay so i i will keep on watching on this pod and the next step is to create a ingress so that i can access it easily okay so let me create the ingress object for this so i will clear the screen so that it it will easy to view so i will do get on ingress to see what will be the address so that i can access it it will take some time uh, to get the address so once i get the address i can do curl request so when i do curl request i should able to see some events coming to this uh, pod so i hope it should come early i will mean, take some time to add, uh, get the address so yeah so uh, meanwhile i want to tell is like once this is done okay before that i'll show and i'll go and show how the trigger template looks like so that it can create the uh, pipeline run so you can see trigger template is an object which has embedded this pipeline run so that that is what i showed over here in the presentation that when there is a event come this trigger template create this tecton resources so now here uh, okay so i got the address right so uh, what i will do i will go here and i will send some request so you can see i got some response and a event in the pod but it failed because i have not passed any body format so it, it straight away rejected so now let me configure it in the webhook so let me uh, open settings i will i will copy this url okay so yeah so in the webhook section and in the add okay i have already added something i will delete it okay add webhook and then here i will give the url and it always refers to the content type and this is the secret uh, which uh, which helps to validate whether the uh, event is coming from the proper source and i am interested in a uh, pull request not on any other uh, event so i will just select that and add the webhook so once i do this one i will go uh, for time being i have already raised some pull request and kept it so before that i want to just show like i am interested in pull request 
you can see this is event listener object where i have given information like i am interested in pull request and that to specially when pull request is open or reopen or synchronize on these three events so now let's uh, see that there are no more events coming to this what i will do i will close this uh, pull request so when i close this pull request as i have selected on pull request an event will come but Again, I am segregating it to the only three: open, reopen. So now, let me reopen this. A successful event occur. On the successful event, it it just uh, create a another pipeline run. So this is how I can automatically schedule my pipeline based on some event to my GitHub repo. uh yep uh, that's all from me and you can find us on slack channel and there are regular meeting and all tecton project repos are uh, listed over here and documents are given here and i have given the demo link here demo link where i have step by step and yes welcome to tecton and thank you uh, any questions would be welcome uh yeah i can see here just one question probably you can see it as well in the qa session q and a okay uh in your experience is best to have one ci cd solution or a tool for each one c each one ci and one okay so uh, in my experience i would i would always prefer to have one solution for both ci and cd because it will ease our use ease our uh, work but if you have a use cases where you want to handle uh, some complex scenario where you, you can't do with one tool you can go for different different solution cool. okay uh I cannot see any other questions so thank you very much for the presentation